Hi, I'm Rory from Game Disco. I'm joined here tonight by Robin, who's going to introduce uh, something that you brought for us tonight. What is it? That's right. Yeah, so I brought uh, my game, which is a one-dimensional dungeon crawler game. A one-dimensional dungeon crawler game. How does that work precisely? Well, so yeah, it's, it's a bit of a weird setup. So yeah. I have behind us, you can see it. It's like a running on this uh, five meter long LED strip and it's uh, controlled by a spring controller that I've built. Okay, and the name of the game is? Line Wobbler. Line Wobbler, okay. So it's quite a literal kind of, well, I see the line, but what's the wobbler? That's right, so that's part of the core game mechanics. So okay. actually also what, how I was inspired by the game was like these doorstopper springs, you know, like and you, as a kid you used to go brrrr. Oh, okay, yeah, And so yeah, it's yeah. like, a, oh, this is cool, I want this in a game. Okay. And that's uh, kind of why uh, I built this. Oh, okay, so the, the doorstopper is kind of the controller. That's right. In a way. Oh, yeah. right, okay. So, I mean, I know what a kind of dungeon crawler style game is like. How does that work in a one dimensional LED strip? Yeah, obviously it's, it's much uh, simplified and mm -hmm. kind of minimalistic. But uh, if you look here, you can see that there's a uh, green dot and that's okay. the, your player, that's okay. your avatar. And you control it with this spring. So you can move it backwards and forwards. Oh wow, I love the noise uh, as well. Yeah. yeah, and so there's like different obstacles between the levels. So, so these, you can see the red dots that are enemies. Okay. So if you normally touch them, you, you die ah, in a okay. colorful explosion. So what you do instead is you get close, and then there's the wobbling. So if you get close enough, and then you fling the spring, it, it wobbles. It eliminates and eats, the enemy. Exactly. Okay. And, and that's how you kind of play the game. You go along, you try to defeat all the enemies. And later on, there's different levels, there's, uh, different uh, obstacles as well. Oh, okay. There's lava, there's like conveyor belts, and uh, right. there's a final so boss have, in the end. Okay, yeah. so you have to use your imagination a little bit, but uh, it follows the same kind of mechanics then of like a dungeon crawler style level. Yeah, just exactly. On yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, time yeah steps, the so. setup is so weird that I kept the game mechanics fairly simple so that people are not overwhelmed. Oh, uh, okay. And wins. they kind of can sort of work their way around it because they know the sort of mechanic and the style, exactly. but just not the controls and, yeah. the, and the setup. Shown yeah, so I've, uh, I've made it about a year ago, and okay. since then I've shown it at quite a few places actually. So in, it was in America a few times, at, mm -hmm. uh, uh, in San Francisco, okay. and in Los Angeles at Indicate, where it won uh, the Game Design Award, so wow. quite That's happy so about well that, that was that. really good. And uh, yeah, a few other places, so it's like all over, like in Berlin a bit, here in London, it's been okay. at the book club before. And sure. so um, I always use these events to kind of play test new things, so just today I, I got a new spring because I get found the doorstopper springs are too So, so to tonight use. is the night for the first time we get to use this spring? Exactly. Oh, we're honoured, we're honoured to have it here. Thanks. And where can I get one myself? Well, they, they aren't for <laughs> sale yet, but I'm trying to make a small production run and see okay. if, I, if I can kind of uh, sell them as well. Okay, interesting. That was great. Robin, thank you very much for going. Yeah, thank you.